So now we're going to continue on with the other section, uh, which is uh, this section here. Um, we have these two doors here, and then uh, a little entrance with some coves. Um, and we're building this out of the parts we have left over from our uh, our plane over here. I'm just going to bring these back over here, so a little bit more easier to see, use. Um, and we're going to build this part right here. So let me uh, hide this part. Uh, I'm just going to create all, select all these, and just put them in a new layer, and then hide that layer. And we're making this. So first thing I want to do is the door. Um, if we break this off here, and then rotate it 90 degree, 90 degrees exactly, and then rotate it up 90 degrees. Um, I'm also going to change the pivot point to uh, down here at the bottom left. And we have two doors, so um, this is going to be the door on the right, it looks like, because that's the handle there. So if we uh, copy it and then uh, mirror it, uh, we get our second door. And then uh, we already have the top up here, so that's already set. So next thing I'm going to do is make these uh, little coves here, um, this piece here and this piece here. Um, and we're going to build those from uh, this piece here. Um, so uh, I'm just going to copy this because we need more than one copy. And then uh, break off, uh, detach the parts that we don't need. And just throw on edge shader here. And we're not going to be using this section here. And then throw faces back on. And rotate this 90 degrees and actually we need to copy this too and then delete what we don't need which is going to be this right here um, now uh, looks like this is just one piece so um, let's see here uh, I think we're going to have to stretch this um, the first one might move the pivot point to the bottom left and then move it to here and then rotate it. I think this is about a, I don't know, 80 degree angle maybe? Not probably less than that, probably, uh, not quite 60, more than 60, probably about 75 we'll go with. Um, and this needs to be scaled up a bit. And then stretched out. And then we'll have this piece here. So I'm just going to copy this. And then mirror it over. Did that copy right? I don't think that copied. Okay. And then mirror it over. Snap it to this section of the door. And then place... Oops, throw a camera in there. Alright, so let's just go back to our perspective. Um, move this to here. And then copy it and mirror it over. And we're going to move that to here. And it looks like these are going to need to scale up too. Uh, we'll do that one at a time. Oops, how did our pivot point move up to there? I don't know. Okay, but... Um, so let's change this pivot point back down to where it should be, which is right here, and this one as well. Okay, and then we'll just scale it up, scale this up to about there. And it looks like our position is a little bit messed up here. So when we moved the pivot point, it didn't actually move it to the edge of the thing there. Now it's on the right edge, and then we'll just move it to here. The other one looks fine. Okay, and now I want this uh, uh, granite uh, uh, bottom piece here. So um, looks like we had to use that piece in a previous section. So we'll turn on this and grab this granite here 
it's the same granite, uh, just using it in a different spot. Um, and that's the beauty of modular texturing because uh, we can just reuse this as many times as we want. Okay. Um, let's move that to the top of it. Let's grab this thing here, move it here. And then uh, holding down shift, we're going to copy this. And looks like it's a little small, so I'm going to scale both of these. And move it into place, and then snap it. Mm, looks a little big right now, so um, what I want to do actually is attach these. That way they'll, they'll scale together. And then move the pivot point uh, to the end here. And then we'll just scale it to fit the window. Okay. And we're going to do the same part again for the inner part. Right. Right there. Looks like it's. the wrong angle. Um, not a big deal, we'll just turn off uh, the angle snap and make sure it's good. And then I'm going to copy both of these. Control V, copy, and then mirror. And then the move tool and the pivot point and put it right on the corner here. Okay. It looks like our uh, door is higher than it should be, uh, so that's uh, a bad thing because now we have these are too long, and we made the scale of these windows too big. It looks like we scaled them before we actually got to the um, um, the piece. Uh, we kind of got ahead of ourselves there. So um, first, I'm just going to fix this. This uh, length issue, and then we'll move all these doors down to there. And then we didn't need to scale these before; I accidentally scaled them. So hopefully, they'll scale down. Uh, I will need to move the pivot point though to uh, the lower section, and then uh, and then um, scale them down. To about there. Okay, that looks good. Actually, it's a little bit off here. I think that's just the angle of it. Uh, the height's uh, the height's a little on. Um, so that's good. We need to delete part of this. The part we don't need, which is that part there, and then we'll do the same to this side. That part. Okay. Now um, we need the detailed part right here that this part is here. Um, so that is going to be on our other plane here. We'll just bring this a little closer so we can pick it from here. And it's going to be this piece here that we need. So I'm just going to copy it and then rotate it 90 degrees vertically. Let's turn rotate snap on. And then uh, I'm going to move the pivot point to the bottom left. And then drag it over to here. Looks like it's a little tall right now. Um, actually, no, that's actually going to fit perfectly. Yeah. Um, so, that's good there. Let's copy this over to the other side. Make sure you grab it by the right point and get it to that point there. And now, uh, now we, we need this piece here, this window piece. Um, so I'm just going to copy it over, rotate it 90 degrees, and place it over here. Um, 
<clears throat> so it looks like uh, this piece needs to be scaled. Um, but first, we have to move it to the section where we want to scale it from. So if we go from this corner, <laughs> we'll be scaling it to the left. And to get that perfectly on there, uh, we can just grab these points here and turn on snap and move and then snap it right to there. Um, actually that moves the, the UVs, so um, that's actually not going to work in this case. So uh, we're just going to scale up the best we can here. And actually I'm going to just uh, delete half of this because we don't need half of it when we have already half of it. So we'll just mirror it over and we're done. Um, so now this piece will be moved to here. And it looks like our uh, granite is a little bit tall there. Um, on the reference it's not even there it looks like. Or it's reversed. Um, so we're going to need that the same size. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, delete that out of there. We don't need that. We're not going to use that one really. Um, bring this down and we're just going to copy this over. And then uh, um, move the pivot point back over to here and then scale it. Okay, and then we have half of this so we need to uh, change our pivot point for the both of these. I want to do about right here on the end and also this one here on the end. And now, if we copy this and then mirror it, um, that looks like we need this this top part here. Um, we're gonna need this back part, and then we'll have the rest of the parts. Um, so that is gonna go in to the right to the left side of this piece. So. Um, that's going to be this part here. So we'll just move that over. And we're also going to need this piece too. And this piece, uh, that's for later on. Okay. Um, so uh, let's rotate these 90 degrees up. And then this one we're going to rotate 90 degrees to the left. And now we have some, a little problem here because this texture has these uh, boxes on them. Move to the corner and then scale it up. Okay, that fits right there. So let's let's group this, and then we're gonna copy it, and then mirror it over. Move it over to here. Turn on snap and put it right here. Okay, and then I'm going to ungroup these things. It's just easier to move them all together if they're grouped or one piece. And then delete this half, and then we're only going to gonna, we're gonna need half of this, so I think it's about there. Um, copy this, mirror it over. Put this right here, and we have one extra square line here, so we delete that. And then, uh, we're going to bring this over to here, and figure out where we need to cut this out. Uh, but right for right now, I'm just going to copy this, because we're going to need this later. And select our let me turn off edge faces here for a second just kind of see I'm just gonna reset the pivot point to the middle and drag it in the middle where it should be looks like we got a little gap here uh, but that's it's pretty easy to fix with just a simple oops with just a simple uh, scale just so that they're connected uh, 
for right now we'll just uh, put add a poly and then take these vertices and scale them in. Okay, so um, what I want to do is actually bring this forward and then we need our wireframe again and I'm going to delete these squares here and then uh, select right, actually bring this to fit there I want it one, one piece over. Now ah, we could just move it over. Okay, uh, so now I'm also going to move it in the center. Now, to get this so it covers everything, um, we're just going to scale down these points here. So let's scale them down from, and we want to make sure we have preserved UVs. And grab that there, and then actually, I think I can. I go to the move tool. I can. I get rid of everything in the background. This is a little trick that I use. Um, sorry about that. We're gonna have to re-delete these again. Delete those, and then select the vertices, and then uh, usually this works. Um, if we go to the corner, okay. Uh, all right. So we're just gonna scale them down so that they fit here. We might move them later uh, just to seal up that that hole, um, but for right now it's not a, it's not a huge deal. Uh, this isn't our final piece, so um, and when you run into like scaling issues where you can't find the uh, thing or uh, it's not going to snap exactly to that, um, we can just move these individually. And I know they'll move with the move tool. Um, they won't necessarily move every time you want to scale a thing but they will move with the move tool. Um, so uh, let's actually go back and fix this. I'm just going to slide these together. And we could go in here and uh, actually make all these um, scale down. But for right now, I'm just going to leave that. Um, you see it is stretching our texture a little bit uh, right here. You can kind of notice that. So to avoid that, um, if we just do a couple undo's, and then, okay, um, better way to do this is actually just moving these down in place. And when we get to the final uh, models, we'll actually um, snap these right to the thing, so there's no gaps or nothing. Um, but just for right now, I just want to get a general idea how this thing is going to be put together using the paper 2D model, um, which is just flat planes uh, put together to, to see how the textures are going to work. Um, so now we have that. So I'm just going to grab this and move it to here. Actually, I need both of those. And on this side, um, they actually fit. Uh, together with these squares here. Um, and let's turn on the rest of ours. Looks like these windows are a bit smaller than normally. Um, so I'm just going to scale those up. Now some pieces are going to be needed to scale uh, or be need to scale. So we'll just have to do that uh, accordingly to make everything fit right. Um, I think what happened was it all fit right in the beginning 
and then um, uh, we had to make our grid in Photoshop for the textures and that kind of misscaled some of them but um, better to have the textures in line then it's just easier to scale the geometry uh, later on uh, rather than fixing the textures to scale I'm just going to mirror the whole thing over um, not including this so grab all this deselect here, here, and here and then group it copy it mirror it and now it fits right so it must have been something with uh, the way we uh, mirrored it over or the group or something I'm not sure why that happened but and then we're missing the the top uh, ceiling but uh, um, that's easy enough to put uh, our ceiling from over here uh, piece and just use the same one because um, nobody's really going to see the ceiling but it still has to be there just copy it over and you can see I'm kind of struggling with moving this uh, because of all the pieces so if that happens you just go to isolate selected and it'll give you just this piece and we'll copy it over and then exit selection mode okay um, so we have now uh, this here and um, I want to throw back on my reference here uh, for what we did before and let's group this slide it over to here okay so we have our uh, entrance here and then we have uh, our other section here so we're going to mirror that over to each side um, so uh, let's see here uh, I'm going to actually ungroup this and we actually don't need this on this side so I'm just going to take this and group it all and then snap this into place okay um, looks like our scale is a bit off so if we turn off snap and then hit R key uh, actually we're going to have to move this pivot point to the bottom left and then scale it down just to match our top here okay Mirror this over, create a copy first, and then mirror it. Drag this over to here, and snap it right into place. Okay, need to rotate uh, the rest of our building here, 90 degrees, and let's go ahead and move this up a bit. And we'll grab this whole section here and we're going to snap it to the bottom here. So if I can get snap on, so now we almost have our building completed. We just have to do the ends, and and then we also have to do the. Uh, the big uh, Fox logo in the, the middle part but uh, for now we're just gonna work on just this facade right now um, so after this window what do we have let's take a look at the reference here the reference I want is right here this is the very end so we're gonna have three more of these on this side and looks like two more on the other side there's one and the left side of the building two more and the right side is going to be one more okay because the left side is a little bit bigger than the right side so um, and it looks like our uh, granite on the bottom is not showing up I wonder if that's because of the group or for some reason that didn't copy over or is it on a different layer oh it's on a different layer okay put on a brand new layer to our reference you can see that there's just this one window and then another thing so um, if 
if we ungroup this and delete what we don't need. This is another group. Let's ungroup that. If we delete this here, uh, we're almost to our end. So I think when I place this in the middle, I place it a little bit over to the right a little bit. So if we just grab all this and then drag select it over to the very end. Here we have a little cut we need to do. Turn on edge faces. Go to our poly edit. And just delete that out of there. Bring up our reference again for the left side. We have one, two, three. Okay, so we're back in, in Max here, and I realize that these are just single doors. Um, then we're gonna need this piece. No, oh, it's that piece. Okay. So we're gonna need this piece. And this is gonna need to be scaled down. We'll just move this over. Scale down just a hair more. So this is all good. This, we're blocking this all out. We're testing it. We're seeing what works, what, what needs to be different. Um, So now we've completed the 2D paper model and we're done with this lesson. Um, I'll see you on the next one.